create learning content that can be accessed um, and explored by students that are blind and have low vision on tablets. So what we do is add haptics, we add auditory feedback, and then we add text-to-speech to this graphic so that the student can explore it by feeling and hearing it. So in this example, um, we'd ask the student to find the title. They'd be able to hear that title read aloud to them. Or we might ask them to be able to run their finger up the bars. The student can then come in and feel and explore on the tablet. This was work that came out of a research lab. We looked to the National Science Foundation to fund the research and development of the software so that we could commercialize it. So to teach a student how to use our software, it's a pretty simple process. For students that are blind and have low vision, they're taught how to explore tactile graphics. And that's primarily you know, what we focus on, is how we take a graphic and make it accessible to them. We took this idea that just did not seem possible. Teachers of the visually impaired who we first started talking with about the idea just could not even conceptualize how we were going to allow a student that was blind or had low vision to explore a flat touchscreen. Essentially, you're taking that touchscreen and making it come to life for them. Our big dream is that we can have classrooms that are all-inclusive so that if all the students are provided like they are now with a tablet and our software on it and that the student that's blind can sit right next to the traditional learner um, or the student that is autistic and learn that same material and access that same material and be able to work with their peers.